Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is doing a used car review this week. We are sitting in the Nissan Rogue 2015. S. It's pretty much the base model though. So it stayed pretty much the same between 2014 and up to today, 2020. But there's going to be a major makeover of that Rogue in 2021. So when you look at this one, it's for a person that wants utility at a good price. And there's even a seven passenger option in the Rogue that you can go for. So low budget, you want a kind of reliable vehicle low maintenance overhaul this is going to be probably something that you have to check because there are some good deals to have with a rogue but you're going to have to be careful to that cvt we're going to talk about that later in the video on the plus side though optional seven seating that's a great thing and when you look also at the inside you will have enough space in the rear there's huge cargo with that rogue and this is probably why a lot of people like it and by the way the suspension is really soft so it's not going to be bumpy if the road is just damaged everywhere where you are rolling the price that you're going to pay and the quality that you're going to get is kind of interesting and back then there was a lot of technology in those vehicles you've got a vectoring system when you're going to be turning it's going to break the inner wheels classical you've got also usb connector you've got that digital cluster right there in the center and you've got pretty much all the options that you would like to have and over time they've added that famous 360 degree shield the around view system depending on the option package that you're going to choose the style is not ugly that famous v grill of nissan but it's not flashy either. So it's kind of conservative. So some people will like that. But on a negative note, when you're going to be accelerating, that engine is not making the best sound. It's just raving and screaming that I doesn't like. And you've got also the power, which is kind of average for the numbers that we have. And there's no optional engine. It's not really fun to drive. It's not going to be for those passionates of driving in the curves and getting those feelings. No, it's Kind of okay but it's still bland there's no feeling in the direction the suspension convertible but not great for road handling so it's not really dynamic and if you're going to be a smaller person you got to be careful when you're going to be looking around there's some visibility issue but when you're tall like me well it's not that bad so the engine inside is a 2.5 liter four cylinder which is going to be good for 170 horsepower 175 pound feet of torque and we're looking for those horsepower because it doesn't feel like it and it's mated to that famous cvt famous but not for the good reason though fuel consumption 9.5 liter around town 7.4 on the highway and if you want to tow this is not going to be the best for you because it's only going to do 1000 pounds of towing capacity so i don't recommend towing with those vehicles either front wheel drive all wheel drive you've got the choice and martin shoot out to you my friend ask me what do you think about the reliability of that cvt and can you tow with that vehicle i told you with the, the thousand pounds that you can tow but those are often based on cars when you look at those crossover and those sport utility vehicle and i don't recommend towing with it because of the CVT problem that we have right now. And it's a common problem in the States. A lot of people complain about that CVT. But right now with the vehicle that I have, I don't hear any noise. It's 78,000 kilometers showing on the audio over here. There's an active lawsuit right now in Canada also. I'm gonna share the link to you guys if you wanna go check that out. But you've got to take notes that you need to check all the maintenance that has been done on that used vehicle to see if somebody changed that CVT because this is one expensive piece of technology to repair. Sometimes even your famous garage don't want to touch those CVT transmission. So make sure that you do a great inspection on the vehicle before you buy it. For this one, seems okay right now. I can't wait to see over time though. And also there's a lot of AC problem with the vehicle. You're rolling, it gets really cold and boom, it stopped working or something similar to that make sure that you don't go to the dealer and change everything inside they're going to search for what's happening for a long time think about evap sensor so this is that little part 
that fails over time. So before you get into spending a lot of money, you can even do it yourself if you're kind of used to get into narrow space with some mechanics. Otherwise, you got to be careful also with the paint. There's a lot of stow chip, but all vehicles are real fragile when it comes to paint. So as soon as you're going to do some highway weld, you're going to see those little dots. And as you can see on that vehicle, there's a little bit of them. So this one has received some touch up. So when you're going to buy a used car, check that out. And how about asking them to fix that before you sign on the contract your name? Otherwise, this is easy to fix. But I would recommend that you put some 3M paper, some protection on that car to make sure that it won't happen over time and it won't be a source of rust. And by the way, shout out to Etienne Gelina who asked me to check those roof rails because him what happened well they got rusty over time and they literally fall apart but as you can see it's in right now it's okay we're here i don't know if it was aftermarket parts but you got to be careful because oem are usually much more resistant to the bad weather that we have here in quebec so how about my personal evaluation of that vehicle it's clean it's interesting, seems in perfect mechanic orders. The brakes are doing fine. The tire is not my favorite brand at all, but still they're in good condition. There's no rattle, direction feels strong, no rattle also in the hole. And one last point, <laughs> I smell that somebody was smoking in the car. I cannot even believe that we're still doing that today. Think about your health, but still this is something that you can easily fix with some great aesthetic products that you're going to find from Silver Wax. And otherwise, it's pretty clean inside. It doesn't look like that. It just smells a little bit. I'm really sensible about that. So you need to have a full inspection. Don't rely just on me. You know, guys, when you buy use, you head for a full inspection. Remember that there is a lot of choice in that category, but right now this is a fair price for a 78,000 kilometers Rogue S. It's around $2,000 under the average value right now. So it could be a great deal for you if you're looking for those kind of vehicles. So what do you think about that, guys? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. Subscribe to Car Question because we're going to do more review over time. And I want to talk to you also if you have any experience with a Rogue, any bad experience, any great experience, feel free to comment in the section down there below and tell me what's happening with you. I always like to get some news from you guys. Take care. See you another time.